Uh, we've uh, had a very informal entrance, but please would you uh, welcome uh, Her Excellency, the Honourable Francis Adamson, the Governor of South Australia, Mr Bunton and the official party. It's wonderful to have you with us. Well, thanks for joining us indeed. Uh, we have a, a symposium uh, of great uh, gravitas today, but I'm sure we're going to also have some very entertaining stories uh, as we meet the people who, or just a few of the people who have been consumed by this great story. Uh, other people to specially welcome, the symposium coordinator, uh, Mac Benoy, uh, the Overland Telegraph group members, uh, distinguished speakers, uh, and we'll get to those individually. Uh, it's wonderful to have uh, two uh, descendants of Charles Todd with us, at least two, I think possibly three or more, but uh, Elizabeth Russell, it's wonderful to have you with us, and also Julian Todd today, and Julian has a role later. Uh, and all of you who have come to this special occasion, welcome. It's a, it's a very substantial celebration. It is one of the great technological and economic and social marvels of the 19th century that we celebrate. Uh, and of course, we're talking about the Overland Telegraph, which was completed almost uh, exactly 150 years ago. Who are the lucky people who will be at Fru Ponds on August the 22nd when the lines will be joined? Ah, there's that, the, the governor's going, that's great. Uh, and there is a few other people. Um, it's an invitation event and uh, that's going to be a special reenactment and I'm sure we'll hear a bit about it today. But before we continue, uh, we acknowledge that we meet on Ghana country. We uh, respect Aboriginal peoples across the continent uh, as the first peoples and nations. Uh, we recognise them as the traditional owners and occupiers of the land and seas of South Australia and the Northern Territory. We acknowledge that their cultural and heritage beliefs, uh, cultural and heritage beliefs, their language and laws are of ongoing importance, and that we that they have made a and continue to make a unique and irreplaceable contribution to our nation. We also acknowledge that Aboriginal peoples have endured past injustice and have been dispossessed of their traditional lands and their waters. Now, there are no housekeeping notes to uh, speak of, but there is just one. We ask you to turn off your mobile devices, or at least put them into uh, flight mode, and we have uh, a specially prepared bucket of Todd water that's been brought down for the occasion. <laughs> if one goes off, we're going to ceremonially dunk it. <laughs> Uh, my name is Keith Conlon, and it's my great pleasure to be your MC today. Uh, I've had a, a lot of pleasure, I've, I've enjoyed gathering all sorts of anecdotes and bits and pieces from greater minds than mine to, to help um, promote the, this whole cent, uh, uh, sesquicentennial year. Uh, but you won't be hearing them from me today because we have an array of speakers who have much better things to tell you. Um, our array of speakers come from around the nation, some have just flown in, uh, and they will inform us, they'll entertain us, and my task is really simply to uh, act as a sort of a telegraph line traffic manager. Um, so it's my role then to, in, uh, it's my great honour to introduce our first speaker. Uh, at least two of our 19th century governors uh, braved uh, uh, the notion, this idea of the Overland Telegraph and played quite a hefty role in getting it from dream to reality. We're particularly delighted then that our current governor of South Australia could join us and speak to our symposium today. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the podium Her Excellency the Honourable Francis Adamson, the Governor of South Australia. 